All right, everybody, welcome back to the office. So uh, today, it's going to take a little little quick segment and talk about two things. Uh, the first thing was I want to talk to you about yesterday. I had posted um, there was a a scam video that had been put out. Somebody emailed me about it. I did a post real quick on the community tab, and uh, within five minutes, it was eliminated. So. Thank you so much for helping me out. And uh, I know it doesn't take too much, but uh, this could be a big thing. And uh, as people start to get more and more into digital assets, which we are seeing happening right now, there's gonna be more and more scams. So it's important that we try to do what we can do with what we got when we can and protect these new people. So thanks so much for helping me out. And just so you know, uh, this is not uh, um, specific to our industry. Uh, we don't just see scams as far as as far as cryptocurrency digital assets uh, just with us. If you take a look throughout the whole board, uh, you can see uh, different scams being uh, brought about like you know with big YouTubers like like the PewDiePie where he had uh, free gift cards and I don't know how many tens of thousands were lost there. This is the Franco, uh, same type of thing where it was like, hey, you know, uh, in the uh, comment section, uh, you know, give me something and I'll, I'll give you something like that. And those are one thing, and those are ads. But then you have like even bigger ads for things like uh, Roblox, which uh, a game that's uh, very popular right now. And you see these types of ads coming up, people getting scammed out of their money. And also just as big as like Fortnite, uh, which is enormous. So you're going to see ads on there and the same type of thing. So don't just think that it's just our industry. I mean, YouTube has these scam ads all over the place, and it's like cockroaches. Uh, once you have, once you see one, there's a thousand behind the wall. And that's uh, pretty much exactly what's going on. And the second thing I want to talk about is that we did an article yesterday on Sunday where we talked about Warren Buffett investing into gold. And I want to make uh, clear because uh, there is a little caveat there. And that is that it's not that Warren Buffett uh, invested in gold. Uh, he, him, Berkshire Hathaway, actually invested into a company uh, called Barrick. And Barrick is a mining operation specifically for gold. So people are like, well, what is that? And who cares? It's, he's, he's investing into mining, not gold itself. But you got to understand, that's gold. It'd be like um, if you were going to invest into a subway and then someone says, do you believe in, in that people will eat sandwiches? No, but I just want to invest in subway. That's, that, that's ridiculous. It's the same thing here. Like with, with, um, with Warren Buffett, Charlie Munger, and Berkshire Hathaway, if, uh, if they're going to invest into a mining operation that in mines into gold, I'm pretty sure they think a lot of people are going to use gold and they want to have gold for a safe haven asset. Just my opinion. I just think that's how it is. So when you take a look at this, you're like, okay, well, what does this mean? Well, that means that uh, this Berkshire Hathaway, they are not day traders. They're not here for the short term. They're going to do this for the long term. And when they invest into something like this, they're essentially signaling to the whole industry like, look, um, we are going to have a lot of gold that people are going to want to buy. So we're going to invest in Barrick to help them pull it out of the ground. Some people can keep buying it because of what is happening with the economy and the stock market. Now, look, I don't know what's going to happen uh, with the stock market or anything else, but I can tell you right now, if you've got an a, uh, enormous billion dollar company going, you know what, we're going to invest in a uh, company that actually mines everything because we think there's going to be a ton of, of use for gold. That's actually a bad sign for, for the economy itself. And um, if you take a look at, at the history of Berkshire Hathaway, I mean, they, they, they pulled out of the airline industry after, you know, being in, in there for, uh, you know, five plus years, maybe 10 plus years. I don't know how far it goes back, but it's been it was a long time. And they pulled out of there because they knew it was going to happen. And they knew what was going to happen was the airline industry was going to go down. However, it didn't. And actually, they pulled out around March, and it actually the exact opposite. It went up. And people were laughing at, at, uh, at Charlie Munger and Warren Buffett going, what a bunch of idiots. Those old fools, I don't know what they're doing. Well, guess what? There's just an article uh, just today where uh, the CEO of JetBlue says, hey, the day of reckoning is right upon us as far as not just for uh, JetBlue, but for the entire airline industry. And if we don't get a bailout from the uh, from the government again, uh, then we are in a very uh, tough place. And really, he's alluding to uh, there's a lot of different airline industries that could just be out of business. So maybe all those different things that uh, all the diff lessons that Warren Buffett has taken a look at, uh, he can actually say, you know what? I think I see the writing on the wall. I think I know what's going to happen. I think we're going to go this way. So if that means that more people are going to want safe haven assets like gold. 
so much the better for us. Because if that's the case, then what are they gonna do? They get gold, they get silver, they get digital gold called Bitcoin. Oh, and also on top of Bitcoin, what's this other stuff called Ethereum? And there's smart contracts, everything's built on that. There's this thing called decentralized finance. Well, that sounds pretty good. I'm gonna get into that. There's this guy called Portney, David Portney, and he just, uh, for, for bar stools, and he just uh, got into it and dropped $250,000. And now he's a real big uh, link Marine. Okay, sounds pretty good to me. So again, <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen. I have no idea. But uh, I just take a look at what I see around me, and uh, that's what I got. So uh, thanks for sticking with me. Let's uh, let's jump back. All right, awesome. Hope that helped out. And thanks again for sticking with me. Um, also, this is uh, the end part. So I would like to do a little random shout outs to all my members. If you don't know, there's a join now button. Uh, you don't get anything special. It's just like a tip. And I uh, just want to say, you know, hey, shout out to all the uh, new members. Uh, Jesse Kirkland, Lincoln Echo, and let's see who else we got. David Worm, David Worm, um, Jarky. I'm gonna try this one. Jarky Burgesson. I think I nailed it. Mr. Black. Okay, I got that one. Joe Griffin, fantastic. Dan Hegarty, David Mills, Sally's W, and uh, oh, Duckburg. That's a good name. So thanks everybody for uh, signing up. Really appreciate it. Spending that dollar ninety nine. Fantastic. Also, if you like these types of videos, there's going to be two more that's going to pop up on your left and right. Don't know what they are. YouTube controls it, just like the junkie ad that you probably saw in the beginning, which probably was a scam. So don't uh, shoot the messenger. Talk to the big guys. They'd love to hear from you. And that's it. So again, check those videos out, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.